when I first got this machine, one of the comments was, can you show us a little bit of what the mower will do after you've got it? And we are getting ready to enter into fall. I think I also showed you an update, a uh, mower tip on keeping the deck clean and one on the, the uh, putting the lights on it. And I used just a rehash, just, you know, some little Chinese import uh, LED lights. I chose to put these up front, use a little U-bolt as a brush guard, and I put some round back. You don't do a lot of backing up, but when you're this far out, in the middle of nowhere, there are no. Uh, let's zoom in up on the field up there. See the upper field? Go up there. Uh, when you cut something like that, the days are getting short, and uh, as fall approaches, quite honestly, I haven't actually had to use the lights until just recently, and I discovered do a good job making sure you don't back into a tree or a rock or something like that and they certainly do a good job looking forward but i found one thing uh, there was an insufficient amount of lightage around uh, the side which is where the deck is to keep you from banging into uh, the yardage markers up the rifle range so i added two more and while well, we're get, beginning to look a little bit like we need some curb feelers on this particular beast um and now it's quite sufficient good head lightage up front see just enough to go in back and all these of course these little uh, pm lights are just little two bulb led jobs actually incandescence with led upgrades put in them because i have a bag of those also bought directly through communist china and i had plenty of little lenses i think i had like 24 bought bulk as a replacement lens for a standard light and just screwed them directly to the frame Of course, there's a, a little wire loom where the cord goes through there. So, I mean, that's just all there is to it. Now, the deck is held up well through this, and I have found a, a rock or two up there in the cattle field, pretending to be at the um, rifle range. And uh, if, after a while, you have to actually do a little scraping, uh, I found that the, where the washing, just a hose pipe, I don't have a pressure washer, so... Uh, to keep from sticking me little paws up underneath the unit when I have it jacked up on said tractor jack there. I just use a paint scraper that uh, has a screw in and a uh, paint roller. And that way I can get to anything I need to without actually putting my arms at risk without actually getting up under it. So all in all, this Hustler X1i has been an excellent excellent mower so far it's tough because i have actually taken it quite rough in the field by kind of necessity when you have an old cattle cattle field and a yard that which probably needs a few fill-ins by now 10 years after construction so it's been been pretty good mower so far um choose whatever you like but uh i think for the money for my particular deal, I'm satisfied with it, and uh, hadn't given me a bit of trouble through the first year of use. Like I say, um, well, that's the end of the mower update. I think I'll flash up a little. Somebody asked me, said, "Can you show us what it actually looks like, and uh, what the mowing quality looks like?" And I and I will say this is after having found a few uh, few rocks with blades. The two end ones, of course, are the ones that usually take the, the bump because you can usually see the key from hitting it, you know, dead center. So the outer two blades are the ones that, if you're going to graze something, they're going to be the ones that's going to find it. So their blades aren't perfectly flat after a year's worth of mowing, but they're not too bad. And I think the cut quality has been real good so far. I've got two more sets uh, in stock back in the back of the garage but i haven't put them on yet i think i'll wait till i'm officially done for the winter and put the mower up and change them out and take the other ones off and sharpen them up and use them for spares mm -hmm.